anyone can grow organic produce in just 30 yes. inches of space uh, using 90% less water than conventional garden. That sounds amazing. This is so neat. Want to introduce you to Wendy Coleman here. Hi, she is the founder of LA Urban Farms. Thanks for being here this I'm morning. I'm so happy to be here. Appreciate it. Happy to have you. These are so interesting. They're space age looking, but they work and they work now. Can you show us how do these vertical gardens make it so you can go fruit, vegetables, herbs, edible flowers without using any soil, without using any chemicals. Sure, so this is aeroponics, and aeroponics allows us to grow fruits and vegetables, herbs and edible flowers, all without the use of any soil or harmful chemicals. You just need water, nutrients, sunshine, and seeds. So let okay. me show you how it works. Yes. Okay, it's super easy. You don't have to have any gardening experience. Okay. A 20 gallon reservoir that's filled with water and nutrients. Uh -huh. There's a low water submersible pump that brings the water to the top of the garden and on the way down it showers all the roots that are hanging in the garden nutrient rich water over and over again and recirculates until the plants absorb it or it evaporates. Now that sounds kind of scientific to me but it, I, I would imagine you purchase something and all the pieces and parts are there. They are right? and the really key thing about the technology yeah. is that it uses 90% less water. That's so that's the amazing it's thing. A big deal. Yeah for us in here in California with a drought nearly everyone. So the garden is made up of these uh, sections they're all stackable and you can grow between 20 to 44 uh, different plants just by adding more sections. It's all food grade plastic. And because you're growing up vertically, you can grow so much more in the same amount of space that you would if you were on the ground. So actually 10 times more. So it makes it great for urban settings and unused spaces like parking lots, rooftops, balconies, and terraces. It's a real conversation starter too. Yeah. Could you imagine you know, someone coming over and going, oh my gosh, how did you do that? Is it faster to grow things with this method? It than is. It's actually remarkable. It grows like 30% faster than conventional gardening because uh, the plants are getting everything they need with water, oxygen, and nutrients all day long. They're being spoon fed. Yeah. So they're growing about two to three weeks ahead of soil. Here's the old man in me talking. Okay. I love the harvesting. I don't have to bend over. Sure. I'm just like, uh, <laughs> let me get my tomato. Let me get my spinach I up know. off. That, that's really well, nice. Well, this is really the cool thing about harvesting um, plants with aeroponic yeah. is that it's living produce. So it's packed full of 100% of its nutritional value. So the difference in the taste is really unbelievable. And of course, there's just such a different uh, connection and appreciation to your food. You know, when you grow it yourself, and there's nothing like eating uh, fine ripe tomatoes. Yeah. And, and the impact on the environment is such a positive one. And who is using these gardens? So you know what, they're growing, um, we have them growing all over Los Angeles and throughout the country. Um, they're so easily scalable, so we have them with families in their backyards, at schools, with chefs, uh, restaurants, resorts, and yeah. hotels, all the way to doing uh, major commercial urban farming and uh, food, major food uh, growing. You talk about the taste. You've brought some amazing dishes yes. here this morning with ingredients straight from your vertical garden. What, what do we have here? Sure, here. So right here, uh, Disney uh, chef Helen Cavallo prepared uh, these dishes for us. We have eggplant parmesan. We that have a strawberry so kale good. smoothie. Yeah, and zucchini um, muffin, all from ingredients from our garden. We have a farm that's just 15 steps uh, from her kitchen door making an amazing sure. farm-to-table experience. Yeah, have a bite. It's really, and you know what I got to say? I mean, Thank look you. at this is a gorgeous. I yeah. know they're just so beautiful, and I want to show you what you can what That's you can nice. grow too. I don't yeah. know if you're a great chef yeah. or it's the better vegetables, but something's really good right here. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. That's you can, awesome. You can grow anything that doesn't grow on a tree like an apple or that's a root vegetable like a beet. You can grow broccoli, cauliflower. Is there anything that, that doesn't quite work in this method? Yeah, or you can't grow things that grow on trees like apples okay. or, or things Which that are root sense. vegetable like a yeah. beet. Yeah, but you could grow strawberries, watermelons, uh, cucumbers, spinach, tomatoes. Herbs. It's nice all the to herbs look and at flowers. too. And I guess yeah. if you're going to use the water for something, use it for something that you can eat and use rather than just something that you can look at. Yeah. Well, that is really the key is that it's yeah. using 90% less water. Oh, thank it, you so much. We have oh, information for be... those of you who are interested as well on LA Urban Farms. Details how you can order your own vertical garden. You can go to LAUrbanFarms.com or you can follow them on Instagram at LA Urban Farms. Uh, and I'm sure we'll have some information on our website as well. Wendy, appreciate it. Thank you. I love sharing it. Thank you so much for having yeah, me. I no, appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thanks have so a great much. Morning. Thank you.